Hey guys, this is Budget Tech Dad, and welcome back to another video on Chia. We just saw that there are some security issues if you're trying to use third party tools and scripts for farming or plotting Chia. But what if you want to still use these third party tools? We're going to go over how to protect ourselves. So, one thing we could do to protect ourselves is farm to a cold wallet. Unfortunately, Chia is still kind of new, so there are no official cold wallets like you know the trezor with the ledger nano or the keep key um, that you can use for bitcoin or ethereum so what are some alternatives the purpose of um, a cold wallet is to add security and minimize exposure which means you don't want to connect the cold wallet to the internet um, these options are obviously not perfect but there's still good alternatives to you so one is if you have an old laptop or desktop what you could do is reformat it install a clean os and then um, install just chia on there and create a new wallet and then you could farm to that wallet address right and then you could shut this computer down and just never connect it to the uh, internet again and the only time you would want to use that is if you are trying to send chia well let's say you don't have like old laptop or desktop what you could do is if you have a old ssd or storage device you can use your current computer and install the os on that and then just install chia app again create the wallet and then you can farm to that wallet address obviously what you want to do is you want to disconnect your other storage devices on that computer this new storage device doesn't have any interaction with the other storage devices right what you could also do is if you have a portable ssd or a usb drive you could also install windows on that as well and i'll put some um, installation videos in the description below so you guys know how to do that if you want to get creative you can even put an encrypted virtual machine on your current computer and then create a wallet through that and then farm to that address right and just let you know windows 10 is actually a free version of windows 10 um, you just end up with this watermark like i have over here on the bottom right and you can still use that windows forever it just it will just have this watermark if anyone else have better alternatives please comment below we'd love to hear that so on the chia website there's actually a uh, section on key management they also recommend that when you first start farming, you create two keys. One's the farming key and one's the cold storage key. That's what I'm going to show you in a minute. The steps here are all for PowerShell, but you could do everything in the GUI itself. All right, so we're in the Chia app. Um, let's say this is your current farm key. And let's say you don't want to go through all that hassle of using a separate storage device or a computer. And you think your current computer is pretty safe and not compromised well you, you could just follow these steps here so this is your farm um, wallet right now you want to create a new one here and obviously you want to keep your amount of keys safe however you guys do it is up to you so now we have our cold storage wallet created you go to wallet and the address you're looking for is this address here so you want to copy this um, also paste it here on a notepad and then go back to keys now you're going to go to your farmer wallet here so you click on this go to farm and click on these three dots manage farm rewards you need to change both of these to the one that you just copied all right you want to really make sure that this address matches up with these two um, because you want to be farming to a like non-existing wallet or someone else's wallet so make sure this address match the one that you just copied from your cold storage wallet all right and then after that you hit save and you're good to go but what you need to do is go back to keys you want to delete your cold storage wallet so this way if your computer does get compromised uh, they can't get access to it unless they have those mnemonic keys that you have written down so make sure you have your mnemonic keys before you delete this All right, and that's it. You go back here. The only thing I do want to mention is they can get access to your cold storage wallet, but what they could do is, you know, there might be a script out there that could change the 
farming address. So you want to make sure that once in a while that it's farming to the correct address. So this error message is okay because it's just saying that you deleted your cold storage wallet. Um, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Happy farming, happy plotting, and I'll see you on the next one.